The Challenge of the Yukon. On Kaskis! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge and justice ruled triumphant. In a small two-room building... Crowded between two saloons on the main street of Dawson City, two men listened uneasily as howls of pain came from behind the door that led to the back room. Uh, I lost my hold on it. You can hold still for a minute. Let me get a grip on it. It'll be over in a minute. Now, His sign outside says that he's a painless dentist. He sure don't sound like it. There ain't none of them painless that I ever been to. We're lucky to have any kind of dentist way up here in the North Country. This here uh, hotel has just come here, didn't he? Yeah, come from the States, I think. Uh, Don't know why he'd pick this place when he could have made a good living where it's warm and comfortable. Well, I suppose he got the gold fever like all the rest of us. He'll be prospecting on the side, I imagine. Yeah, Charlie, guess you're right. <laughs> that howling even makes your dog nervous. I guess he must have pulled the tooth that time. And I'm glad you're the next one to go in, Charlie, instead of me. Going to get a tooth pulled? No. That's a good thing. If you howl like that, your dog would probably go right through the door after Butch and eat him alive. Yeah. Who couldn't let anyone hurt me? Butch, old boy. <laughs> There's only one other dog that's as crazy about his master as Duke here. That's Sergeant Preston's. You know, Monty. Yeah. That dog, King. He's the Sergeant Shadow. Just the way Duke is yours. How long have you had Duke, anyway? Well, Pete, I've had him since he was a little pup. Six years. I wouldn't give Duke up for anything in the world. He's my best friend. Aren't you, fella? Huh? <laughs> I should think you'd be afraid he'd bite the dentist. <laughs> you should have left him home. Oh, I take Duke everywhere. This time, I had to bring him. You see, he's the patient. Not me. What? You work on that dog? Yeah, Seb Haley told me this dentist put a nice gold crown on one of his teeth, and it's as good as new. He can eat anything with it. If he can do it for a man, he ought to be able to do it for a dog. <laughs> you mean your dog is going to have a gold tooth? Huh? <laughs> Wait till the boys hear about this. <laughs> well, I don't see anything funny about it. You is oh, just dear. as important to me as any human. Uh, wash your mouth out the salt water once in a while. Be as good as new in a couple of hours. Thanks, Doc. Uh, well, now, uh, who's next? We are. Uh, come on, Duke. <laughs> You'd better leave that dog out here while I take care of him. Oh, no, Doc. He's the one I want you to treat. Are you crazy? No, no. Duke bro- broke off one of his big fangs. He can't eat right a fight without it. <laughs> I'm no dog doctor. <laughs> well... Ain't any harder to make a dog tooth than a human tooth, is it? Well, he's liable to take my hand off. Not while I'm a-holding him, he won't. Duke will do what I tell him. You won't have to worry. Nope. Get him out of here. I don't want to bother. Of course, I'll be willing to pay almost any price you want it. Any price? I mean, lots more than you'd get for a man's tooth. I'd pay cash, too. See, I'm leaving Dawson in a week or so, as soon as the next boat leaves. I just own a darn good gold claim. Well, uh, bring him in here. I'll have a look at him and see what I can do. Well, come on, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that ain't the dirtiest thing you ever heard of. <laughs> oh, hello, Richie. Hi there, Pete. New dentist here? Yeah, he, he's busy right now. I guess I better go back next time. I'm in a hurry, and if he has to see you next... Well, you take my turn. I ain't any rush. You won't have to wait long. Eh... Uh, you know what he's doing? What? You know old Charlie Hudson? Yeah. He's bringing his dog in here to get a gold tooth for him. <laughs> I bet you never heard of anything like that in Seattle where you come from. That no good dog. <laughs> what? You mean Charlie? That goes for either of them. 
That dog jumped me the other night, and I kicked him in the teeth. So you're the one who broke his tooth. Sorry I didn't bash his head in. Bring him in tomorrow. I'll get some heavy gloves. You bring some strong cloth. Campus or something. Here, Dawkins. Hey, wait. Get out, you cur. You stop it. Stop it, I say. Get back now. You better get him back, or I'll kick the rest of his teeth in. Back out. Back. I don't blame you, old fella, but you best not bite him. Dirty cur. He ought to be shot. This dog had a perfect right to jump you the other night. You tried to hit me with a bottle. Yeah, and I'll do it again next time you say you saw me cheating at cards. I'll say it the next time I see you cheating, you tin horn gambler. Why, you old... Get that cur out of here before I put a bullet in him. You so much as touch this dog again and I'll kill you. Come on, Duke. Get out. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Doc, I'm letting Richie here have my turn. I'll wait. All right. Come in. I'm Richie Davis, Doc. Maybe you heard of me. I used to run the Golden Slipper in Seattle. In Seattle? Yeah. Seattle. Ever been there? No. Come in. Hey, Barney, set him up again for everybody. Come in up. We can't let you go away tomorrow, Charlie, without a night to remember, can we, boys? I'll say we can. We we'll sure miss you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, I'll miss everybody up here in Dawson. Duke and me's getting too old for prospecting. It's time we retired. Hey, uh, wonder how your dog is going to like living in Clafoni. Well, Duke will be happy anywhere as long as he's with me. Hey, hey Sergeant Preston. Hello there, Sergeant. Hello, boys. Hello, Sergeant. Hey, hey, Sergeant. Come on over and sit with us. We're throwing a goodbye party for Charlie. Well, thanks, boys. I uh, better sit on this side. King and Duke don't fight, but let's keep them apart. Don King, stay there, fella. We're sure going to miss Charlie and Duke around here. Oh, uh, you're leaving in the morning, Charlie? Yep, Sergeant. I'm taking the boat in the morning. He's got Duke all set for the trip. <laughs> Even got his teeth fixed. <laughs> he just can't get over that. <laughs> Have you seen his dog's new tooth, Sergeant? <laughs> no, but I heard about it. Well, here, I'll show you. Here, Duke. <laughs> King just ain't in Duke's class anymore. Oh. Duke's the only dog in the Yukon with a gold tooth. <laughs> now, open your mouth, Duke. I'll pull his back, Sergeant. There. Well, that's a good job. Doc said it wouldn't be too strong. Not as strong as a real tooth, but he can use it. Mm. And it's sharp, too. Yeah, you're sure getting him all ready for the stage. People think there's gold away up here, putting it in a dog's mouth like that. <laughs> well, here's your drinks. Yeah. Well, this better be the last round for me, boys. I still got some things to do. I got to turn in early. That boat leaves at the crack of dawn. Sergeant Preston! Sergeant Preston! Quiet, King. What is it, Pete? Richie Davis was murdered last night. Richie Davis? Who's he? You know, the gambler from Seattle. He ain't been here very long. The one who had the fight with Charlie and kicked Duke in the mouth. Oh, yes, I remember him. Where is he? They found him in his cabin. The whole place is upset. He was clubbed with something. I'll go right with you. I left on my parka. They didn't touch the body or disturb anything, did they? No. Nobody touched the thing. Good. I made everyone get out of place until you saw him. Good for you, Pete. All right, let's go. One king. <laughs> See how this cabin looks? Everything's upset. He was killed last night, all right. Been dead a long time. Wait. Look here. Look at his boot. Uh, there's something shiny sticking in it. What is it? I'll get it out. Look. Uh, it's gold. It's the shape of a dog's tooth. There are other teeth marks on the boot. Sergeant, do you think Charlie could have done this? I can't believe that, Pete. The boat left early this morning. Charlie's gone. Yes, I know him. Charlie hated Richie. I heard him say if Richie ever touched Duke again, he'd kill him. This place looks as if someone's ransacked it. Hmm. Someone took everything out of this tin box. Richie must have kept money or papers in here. Maybe Charlie thought he'd make it look like robbery. Uh, 
He didn't know Duke was going to leave his gold tooth in Richie's boot. Did Richie have much money? Well, he gambled a lot, but he kept it in the bank. I met him in there a couple of times. Well, it still doesn't make sense. Why would Charlie come here to his cabin and murder him? Charlie left the party early last night. Oh? Maybe he met Richie on the way home, and Duke took a nip at him. Oh, Charlie loved that dog, but murder's different. He did threaten Richie, though. I heard him, right in the dentist's office. It happened the day Charlie came in to get Duke's tooth made. Help me put Richie's body up on that cot, Pete. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do, Sergeant? Well, first, I want to go to the bank. And you say Richie made a large deposit here last week. Yes, he did, Sergeant. Two thousand dollars. Of course, he was a pretty heavy gambler. He was always drawing his money out of the bank and putting big amounts in. Yes, we really can't tell much from that. Did you know anything about him at all? Nope. Oh, say, he did leave an envelope here for me to keep in the safe. Oh? I almost forgot. Uh, Wait, I'll get it for you. Hoped I'd find you here, Sergeant. Did you check all the gambling places, Pete? Yep. Richie's had a streak of hard luck. As far as I can find out... He's lost money regular. Well, he made a large deposit here in the bank last week. Of course, he could have won that money in a private poker game. Oh, uh, here's that envelope, Sergeant. Oh, thanks. Uh, did you telegraph the bounties and sell, Kirk, Sergeant? Yes, Pete. I gave them full instructions. Well, this is interesting. Uh, what is it, Sergeant? Can't tell you yet, Pete. King and I have to pay someone a little visit first. You'd better stay here. I'd rather do this alone. Sergeant, you got a toothache, too? I uh, didn't come to see you about my teeth, Doc. And maybe I should tell you, my dog has all of his, too. Your dog? You're quite clever at making dogs fangs. Oh, you mean the one I made for Charlie? (laughs) The whole town knows about that. That was quite a clever scheme, Dr. Carson. How do you... My name's not Carson. Oh, yes, it is. And you're also wanted here for murder. The murder of Richie Davis. You're crazy. You can't prove You it. thought you got all of Richie's papers when you killed him. But you didn't. He left this envelope in the back safe. Here, let me show you. Yeah. Newspaper. Dr. Carson, dentist. Wanted for murder. There's even a picture of you. You can't prove a thing. Richie was blackmailing you. So you decided to get rid of him and pin the murder on Charlie. You know it would be weeks before we could get to him on that boat and find the Duke, his dog, still had his gold fang, and then you could have been quite far away. I don't know what you're talking you about. You made a gold fang just like Duke's and stuck it in Richie's boot so there'd be no doubt about who murdered him. You're under arrest. Oh, no, you don't, Bobby. Take him out. Get away, help me. I'll take, take that gun. No. You shouldn't have tried that, Carson. Back, King. All right, boy. Oh, my arm. I warned you, King has all of his teeth. You should have been more careful. Get up. I'm taking you to headquarters. Watch him, King. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. This is Larry McCann speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.